Hi, and a very happy new year once again to all of you who are who have tuned in to this YouTube devotion. I am Sunil Balasundram, the pastor of the Conshohocken United Methodist Church, and here in Conshohocken, Pennsylvania. I have another story for you this uh, day, and it's from uh, Luke chapter 7. It's a few verses, verse 41 onwards. Then Jesus told them this story. A man loaned money to two people, $5,000 to the one and 500 to the other, but neither of them could pay him back. So he kindly forgave them both, letting them both keep the money. Which do you think loved him more after that? I suppose the one who owed him the most, Simon answered. And Jesus agreed, correct. I just read from the Living Bible, which is an older translation, but it's a really fun translation. Jesus told the story in the context of a larger narrative. He had gone to a Pharisee's house, uh, Simon, and while he was eating, a woman of ill repute had come in, a woman who apparently had been touched by Jesus' ministry in such a such a fantastic way that she came in her response with deep tears of gratitude and with a costly uh, jar of uh, perfume. And she breaks this perfume, anoints Jesus' feet, uh, drenches his feet with tears and wipes his feet with her hair. And people around, especially Simon, find fault with Jesus, saying, you know, muttering under his breath, their breath saying, you know, how can this man even let this woman of ill repute touch him? And Jesus tells him the story. And the story mainly brings out an obvious answer. If you owed more money to somebody and that person forgave you, and a person who owed far less money uh, owed, uh, owed more money to that person, and that person forgave that person too, who would love that, the, 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 the person who's, uh, who's lending the money? Naturally, I, since I owed him far more. But here's what the thing is. Just because I am forgiven more, do I respond more? Huh, it seems so. But look at the other side. Did the money lender love each of those people less or more? No, he is a money lender, for heaven's sake. He lends money to everybody. He was just being generous to both. He was equally generous. For one, it was $500 generous. For the other one, it was $5,000. But he, he was generous equally. And that's what Jesus was trying to say. Jesus, God, loves equally. He loves so much to every one of us. So when he forgives one of us, may even though it may be a little bit for one person and a lot for another person, it's the same love. But unfortunately, we as recipients don't understand that. We tend to respond as much as the gift that is given. We don't look at the giver. We don't look at the love of the giver. We look at the magnitude of the gift. And maybe we need to learn how to look at the giver and the, and the magnitude of the, of the love that he gives with. And maybe I can give you an, an idea of how to do that. Maybe you can pray this year that God will open your eyes to yourself. Will open your eyes to how much you really need him. Because believe me, my dear friend, sister, brother, you and I need him a lot. We may, or the world may, try and deceive us to thinking we don't. Maybe we need Him. And when we ask God to open our eyes, He will. He will open our eyes to our own need, to ourselves. Not so that we will grovel and we will feel, oh, I'm really terrible. No, so that we will see Him and see how much He loves us. And know that it's because of his love that he actually does forgive us. It doesn't matter how much we owe him, how much we have wronged him, how much we have sinned against him. He loves us nonetheless. Pray that. Pray, Lord, open my eyes to myself. Because when you open your, my eyes to myself, you will be opening my eyes to you and to your love. 
Thank you once again for joining us this, uh, this day and for this entire week. May you continue to be blessed by God's presence through this year. Please go to our website, conscientunited.com, or to our Facebook page. Tell others all about us, and may you have a truly blessed day and year.